Hello, beautiful souls. Someone who has the gift of illumination is typically extremely self-aware from a very young age and very self-analytical. In fact, people who have this gift may actually, from a young age, have been extremely hard on themselves. They may come off to other people as someone who is very self-critical, self-judgmental, someone who may struggle to love themselves early in life because the shadows that you choose to either take on or that you develop through traumas, through negative human experiences in this lifetime, are not only very intense but very much pushed to the surface. Someone who is meant to have and share this particular gift with the world will essentially not be allowed to keep any of their shadows in the subconscious realm. Most people who incarnate here on Earth will not choose to make all of their shadows conscious in a lifetime. They will choose to keep many of these patterns and shadow aspects, as I'm calling them, very much buried within themselves for the purpose of living a, what you might call, easier or more effortless sort of life experience that is perhaps more on the surface as one way we could look at it. But we also, there's no, in those words on the surface, judgment for a particular life path that other souls choose because many people will actually intentionally, as a soul, choose to have a lifetime that is much more, quote unquote, on the surface for the purpose of resting, of gaining particular pieces of information before moving on to that next lifetime. So, we don't all come here with the same kinds of purposes or intentions, and there's no lesser or more than kinds of comparisons in any of those varieties of intentions that we have here as souls. But if you are resonating with this idea of the gift of illumination, you are someone who did not come here to live life on the surface, at that surface level, and other people not only will have seen you as being someone who's very introspective, self-analytical, and possibly, as a result of that, self-judgmental, but also someone who has a lot of depth. You are someone who thinks very deeply about everything, particularly matters pertaining to the self, to your life, to your purpose. And again, this is just the mental effect that occurs when you are constantly having your own shadow aspects pushed up to the surface over and over again. It's almost like you are constantly in motion as an energetic being, churning up these shadow aspects, healing them, processing them out, almost like my guides are giving me the energy of an air purifier, purifying energy, but you are transmuting these shadows. Now I know we've talked a lot about the heavier aspects of being someone with the gift of illumination, but there are some extremely positive aspects to this gift as well. Often, although those who have the gift of illumination tend to have a very challenging start as they begin in life to experience the churning up of these shadow aspects, which is often very overwhelming, particularly in those early stages of awakening. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe.